To make creme brulee, we will have to split and scrape one vanilla bean. Now, as far as getting the pulp out, turn the knife over and work one side at a time. Again, just gonna pull the bean across the back of the knife, run through the other side. Next step, bring one quart of heavy cream just to a simmer with our uh, vanilla inside. Now, uh, you could do this in a, in a saucepan or stock pot, but I like to use an electric kettle. I keep one around just for this kind of thing. When uh, your vanilla is done steeping, wash off the leftover bean and uh, shove it into a vessel cleverly labeled vanilla sugar. Believe it or not, the sugar will suck considerable flavor and aroma out of that spent bean. And you can use it for all sorts of things, like making creme brulee. While the cream cools down a little bit, we'll turn our attention to six egg yolks. You want to whisk those until they are very light in color, and then you'll slowly drizzle on half a cup of sugar, vanilla sugar if you've got it, and that's uh, 3.5 ounces. Time to temper, slowly, very slowly drizzle the uh, still hot cream onto the eggs, whisking continuously. This will keep them from curdling, of course. Then pour them back into something with a, a pour spout. Uh, in this case, I'll use my electric kettle. Now, we turn our attention to a 325 degree oven. Add your favorite roasting pan and put a tea towel in the bottom of that. It'll uh, prevent these six, seven to eight ounce ramekins from scooting around uh, while they're being maneuvered. Then you can pour in your mixture. Now you're only gonna go up to the, the little line on the inside lip of those ramekins. You should have enough for six. And once those are filled, it's time to add hot water, not boiling, just hot water to the pan. That'll keep the heat from moving into the uh, brulees too quickly. It'll make for a smoother texture. And you're gonna bake these for 40 to 45 minutes. And when you come back to extract them, you're gonna think they're not done. They're too wobbly. But remember, we're talking eggs here. And if they're done in the pan, they will probably be overcooked on the plate. So pull them no matter what you think. Now, I like to use an overturned plate as kind of a firing platform. Just uh, park your brulee there and then sprinkle on some sugar. You don't want too much or the, uh, the crust will be too thick. So I'd say probably a quarter to a third of a teaspoon here. Kind of uh, jiggle it around to, to make it nice and even and then fire up your torch. Point straight down into the center and use little circular motions just until you see the sugar start to melt and boil. And that's when I pick it up right about there. Now, now pick it up and start turning it. Don't worry, you're not going to burn your hands. Just hold the torch right in the middle and rotate the, uh, the brulee. This lets the, uh, the liquid sugar kind of rotate around to make a nice even disc. There. And of course, this will have to cool for a couple of minutes, but you don't want to wait too long to serve it or the sugar will get mushy. Now, if we have our shell right, when you break it, it'll sound like this. Sound guy, bring that thing in closer. There you go. Thanks, guy. No, you can't have any. 